Hello everyone. So I'm glad to see you. And uh, yes, I'm live again. And uh, I don't know, I just gonna work and you can ask me uh, pretty much any questions. If I gonna catch in the chat, I, I'll try to answer them. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad to see you again. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. So uh, please feel free to uh, ask me anything, okay? And uh, yes, I'm working uh, pretty much uh, on the same piece, uh, but it's just a different angle. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to understand what angle I'm working from, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty much the you know the the same uh, corbel I was working. I was working in another area. Now I moved uh, like on a two uh, slopes. Uh, this is a bottom. It's going to be visible from the bottom, and that is the front. So pretty much this acanthus wraps around, you know, the front and the bottom of it. Okay, so that is uh, what I'm doing. So I'll just uh, work. Louis, uh, hello, hello. How are you, Richard? Good to see you. Uh, Julie, good to see you. I just sent email, by the way, to uh, uh, people who subscribed uh, on my school. And I hope, you know, people going to receive it. I don't know. I just uh, having a problem sometimes with uh, uh, Gmail right now. Not the Gmail, but the Google uh, is idea. You know, they controlling and they think, uh, you know, what is spam, what is not. They decide what is spam, what is not the spam. And I'm not spamming nobody, but uh, for some reason they just uh, think so. Let me turn my computer towards myself where I can see much better. And uh, hello, everyone. Like I said, good to see you. And, uh, you know, if you're watching me on Facebook, I would highly encourage you to go on YouTube. Okay. And uh, on YouTube, it would be YouTube forward slash and my last name, Grabovetsky. So it's much better quality. I'm streaming in the 1080 and uh, uh, 60 frames per second so it's much better Danilo hello good to see you people good to see you let me see if uh, I can accept uh, let me know if you can hear me okay if you can see me okay on YouTube and also on Facebook I would really appreciate I also on a Twitch I'm not uh, really worry about the twitch and all because i don't really check that much but just in case if someone watching me on the twitch just let me know if you are there I'm working on that acanthus. Uh, that acanthus is a somewhat simple form of acanthus, uh, but still simple, but it's going to be beautiful. All right. And that acanthus is um, uh, unique, not unique, but uh, it's actually applicable only to Italian style acanthus. To be exact, to 15th and 16th century Venus, Venetian, Acanthus. Delilah, good to see you. And if you want to watch me just the carving, just watch. I'm okay with that. Right. Diwan, hello, hello. So, how is weather in Wisconsin? It's already full. I was there uh, in Indianapolis uh, just a few weeks ago. It was uh, kind of already cold uh, in the morning. It was like 50s already. And also in Chicago, I was uh, a few weeks ago. It was also like really cold especially in the morning. During the day, it was okay. 
that at night that was cold. Uh, I'm using um, one of my favorite tools right now, which is uh, number seven and 14 millimeters. 14 millimeters, uh, and that's a fishtail. So I can do a lot of work with that one. Oh no, so you have a snow, <laughs> really, in Wisconsin. You must be in a northern Wisconsin or so, closer to the Canada border. I guess I'm glad I live uh, in Florida. So one problem we don't have, we don't have to clean snow. Bill, good to see you. Well, uh, the question you have, Bill, it's actually a really good question. Uh, first of all, I do have a lot of gouges, okay? So about half a thousand gouges. Not only gouges, of course. Gouges only uh, one tool. I have about uh, half a thousand uh, different types of uh, wood carving tools, including gouges, veiners, uh, chisels and uh, so on okay half a thousand and uh, as far as uh, three what I love I don't know it depends on the day someday I love to use uh, one set of the tools let's say just like in this case I love uh, to use uh, number seven a lot uh, and 14 millimeters and uh, another day I gonna throw that away but uh, it depends on the carving. Let's say this carving has to be authentic to Italian style. And that's a 15th, 16th century Italian style. And uh, I had to study what they used back then. And I'm trying to use the tools what they used. And they used a lot of gouges and veiners. And if you know the difference between uh, a veiner and a gouge, so this number 11, and that is a U-shaped tool, uh, that is a veiner, uh, which is developed uh, pretty much for uh, carving acanthuses. Denise, привет, как дела в Киеве? So, uh, number seven is uh, one of my favorite tools, uh, and of course, number 11s, all of the number 11s veiners, uh, they really, you know, go to tools. And uh, I really like uh, knives, okay? I really like knives all types of knives. In this case, it's a Gonzalez tool, what I'm holding, and it looks like that. I use a lot uh, uh, a skew, just a normal skew, and I use a lot uh, just a number 11 knife, okay? This is a number, I'm sorry, number 12 knife, so by file. So that is a go-to tool. So I hope it answers uh, the question, all right? And of course, uh, I do have a lot of tools, but it's not like I always had a lot of tools. There was a time when I had only one knife and one gouge, which was number seven, by the way. It was one knife and one gouge. And I was still able to do my work. And that's okay. I mean, uh, uh, you really don't have to have a lot of tools to create something nice but you are limited you really limited if you don't have uh, you know plenty of tools hello rich frog good to see you good to see you i hope it answers the question okay so it's it's the same idea pretty much um, i mean you can do uh, you know beautiful things like i said uh, i had only uh, only one knife previously and only one gouge and i was able to carve uh, something nice but it would take me so long so long because limitation it just uh, also reflects on a speed all right and uh, reflects on design because some some of this you know unique tools uh, they made for specific, specific application and some of the stuff can be done only with some unique tools all right 
only with some unique tools. Zoran, hello, hello. I'm using number 11 right now just to outline it. And I am in a, this area is kind of a weird area for me because like I said, that's the two slopes. You don't see that, but uh, you can see this is a one slope and it goes that direction. So it's pretty much like 90 degrees almost. But I, I'm wrapping with this one, uh, with this acanthus, both slopes. Misty, hello, how are you? All right, so let me read the question. How do we know when our knives and gouges are sharp enough? Does it basically shave off? Is that how we know? Not necessarily. Uh, you can actually see uh, how clean the cut is, uh, what kind of surface you're getting, okay? So really sharp knife, first of all, you don't have a, a lot of resistance. So it's just, uh, you, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, this is a really sharp. It's a sharper than even a surgeon's knife, you know, for the surgery. So it gives you a really clean surface when you cut. And uh, again, I don't have to use my force even when I'm carving against the grain. And in this case, I'm actually carving against the grain because uh, the camera position, I cannot uh, uh, use that proper way. But with the sharp knife, I can break the rule and I can carve against the grain. And that's still gonna give me a somewhat really clean cut, clean surface. Uh, also, another way, uh, so you, uh, what you can do, uh, you can check, you can just uh, run your finger, not like this, okay, but uh, just uh, from the below and just to feel if there's a micro burr, a micro wire edge on the bottom. If you don't feel anything, that's good. But anyway, even if uh, you don't feel anything, it's a good idea to strop it, okay, strop it uh, as often as possible. And I use, uh, lately I really like this one, uh, it's a trend paste. It's a, by uh, English brand, Trend. It's a mirror paste, okay? So it's uh, it's the name of it. I guess it's made for the mirrors, right? But it's, uh, it's giving me a super sharp edge. And a piece of leather, that's what I'm using. See how black my piece of leather is? So that is actually just because it's taking the metal out. And I can strop it and I'll know exactly, you know, without any doubts, that tool is a super sharp. Oh, no problem, Misty, no problem. Let's see, it has absolutely no resistance. I can do it against the grain and absolutely no resistance. I really don't have to use uh, my muscles. Денис, приятно, что ты ответил мне, а что вы ответили мне по поводу Киева. Yeah, everybody's right now. Все сейчас uh, struggling. Uh, and uh, Denis from Kiev, he said that in Russian, so everything is good in Kiev. I'm going to translate that. But the uh, number of uh, people who got sick with the corona, I guess, uh, growing up. So it grows uh, really badly. Okay, let me think. Uh, okay, let me also shave a little bit this side. And the final form of this acanthus you're going to be able to see probably only later online if you're part of my school. 
I'm gonna show you 100% how it's gonna look. How it's gonna look. Let me use uh, number 11 and the uh, one millimeter. Clean a little bit right here. Ariana, good to see you. Hi. Okay, I'm using Gonzalez tool. So that is a really good tool. Okay, let me also uh, create the cut uh, with the two millimeters, number 11, vener underneath of here. So there's gonna be an eye in this section. And I wanna create that cut right underneath of it. But see, that area is a uh, mushy because it's a green color, which means it's already starting to rot. I mean, the wood itself, it's a watermark. But that's okay. It'll survive. Well, uh, uh, Bill, it's an actually excellent question. Uh, about the books and uh, so on. Uh, yes, there's uh, uh, some of the books, uh, really good books, some of them not so good. I can show you one actually. I can show you uh, one what I like. All right, if you look right here, I really like this book. All right, it's, uh, I, I, I don't think it's sold in the United States. This book is sold uh, in Europe. Uh, and I, I don't think it's in print anymore, so you have to get uh, probably to a used books market, but uh, they're gonna be able to ship it to you. Uh, England, to be exact, it's actually from England. It's not uh, from um, just European part, but it's from uh, England. But you can see uh, there's a really nice uh, designs. Not much, uh, not much, but uh, some of them, uh, uh, you can see it's a really nice movements and uh, this book is probably uh, one of the best all right as far as uh, I know okay so you and, and it's a historical it's a really accurate uh, really accurate so that is the book uh, and uh, I'll if I'll find it on uh, Amazon uh, I'll link it to you okay I'll, I'll place a link below but I also do have an antique book so because uh, i do have some friends on a facebook by the way uh you know if you're not uh, following me on a facebook please please uh, follow me uh, and uh, on a facebook or uh, you know on a instagram it's a woodcarver grabovetsky but this uh, this book it's actually a catalog it's an antique it's a really, really old uh, antique catalog from uh, one of the wood carving companies, uh, which used to be in the United States. By the way, I need to turn this way. It's upside down. And it has uh, uh, lots of different plates. And uh, this book uh, from the company in, uh, used to be in Syracuse, New York. Uh, uh, Syroco, it was the company. But this is the catalog of uh, wood carving products uh, they had back then okay so and uh, you can see and, and that's really thick it's a really thick you know there's a lot of different pages uh, uh, different plates different styles you can just uh, find uh, all the different periods of time and uh, uh, you can see what was uh, for example this one is uh, Louis uh, 15th period of time and uh, Queen Anne and William and Mary period design and so on and so on. So that is uh, one of the books I really like. But of course you cannot buy it. It's only one in the world, I would say. I've got uh, the last copy, I think, uh, of this uh, original catalog. And uh, like I said, see, it's actually really antique. Some of the pages, uh, they already, you know, getting so old i can't even keep up with that but uh, see how yellow that page is it's already deteriorating 
so that is uh, the only problem with antique books so but this is what i love this is what i like uh, another book uh, uh, probably uh, as far as uh, the i don't know you can check uh, uh, mary may's book if you want to uh, she's got book on acanthus slaves uh, and uh, i think uh, she also writes really good and explains so they can't as leaves not not uh, really i mean it's impossible probably to write in a book uh, all the acanthuses because all the acanthuses they're all different it depends what country you go and uh, what uh, period of time you're trying to replicate all right uh, as far as wood what type of wood i'm carving this is the uh, same question i'm getting all the time in this case i'm carving american basswood okay so that is a uh, this wood i'm carving american basswood linden if you wish tilia uh, lipa it's the same name lime wood if you're in europe so on edgardo good to see you watching from michigan i used to live in michigan uh, Uh, Dower publication has a lot of uh, duplicates of this catalog. Oh, they do. I don't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, but uh, this is, uh, you know, I have uh, original copy. Yeah, thank you very much, Richard, for answering that question. Let me get a little bit cleaning done this section. But it's not really convenient for me. Because it's kind of mushy in this area. And also, if uh, as far as the books, okay, I do have a, a, a Amazon store. It's like a page. It's uh, like an influencers page. It would be Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Woodcarver Grabovetsky, my last name. And uh, all the books I recommend and I like, I'm actually placing right there, so you can check it out. And uh, there's uh, some really good books about the design principles, uh, golden ratio, and so on. So and I'm placing it right there. And I'm carving against the grain. <laughs> and that's not really good, especially in an area like that. So that is no bueno. Marty, thank you very much. So, Richard, what what exactly do you mean? Maybe I missed uh, some of the comments. Oh, maybe uh, Misty. Okay, when you are doing a big work, as you are now, and uh, there's <laughs> writing our bed. Okay. So, uh, good question, good question, uh, but um, I don't know what's the best way to answer. Uh, but usually I don't let it uh, break it, uh, but if it happens, just glue on, just like uh, Richard said, just glue it on, that's it. But you you feel you really feel uh wood okay what it does majid hello hello okay
hold on just a second let me understand another question if there is a wood that chips off that should be there is there a, a substance we can add that will harden and uh, then be carved without throwing out the whole piece first of all that is a, <laughs> that would be really bad idea you know to throw everything out you you worked on that and uh, that is not good if you're going to throw everything out uh, so you have to fix it but there is actually a solution if you want to uh, to do something like uh, fixing for example uh, uh, you know some of the areas especially when i'm working on a tiny spot this is not tiny spot i don't worry about it but if you uh, know some of my work uh, like uh, you know the flowers and so on uh, in a grill and gibbon style uh, so really uh, you can't make mistakes but uh, the way to prevent and not to break it uh, what you can do you can actually take um, a glue okay so you can actually take a glue and what i like uh, to use it would be probably uh, one of the uh, tie bond glues which is this one and this one is a translucent glue <coughs> my apologies okay that trans translucent glue uh, so you can actually dilute that with the water a little bit okay dilute that with the water and then you just uh, brush that on on a piece of wood and that's going to penetrate inside of the fibers and it's going to penetrate inside of the fibers and uh, uh, it's going to harden it okay but i wouldn't use uh, any uh, uh, any other hardeners uh, like a uh, mean wax some people like to use and so on bill you are welcome jerry thank you very much and if you want to see the whole piece not only this but the whole project it, it, it's a huge project it's a huge project just check it out and uh, uh, you know first of all if you're on a facebook just uh, go ahead and check my page there's a lot of posts i post it uh, you can also uh, check that on uh, instagram and uh, you can also check that on a uh, youtube okay uh, on youtube in my community tab there's a community tab i'm also posting sometimes picture of the whole project and that's a big project it's a huge project okay so that is just one of the corbels of a big project and if you want to see the whole idea so you, you really have to be there so you have to just uh, check that and also online uh, online uh, i'm talking about the school my school so if you are part of my school you'll be able to see every step so i'm not going to post that uh, on a facebook the full videos and i'm not going to do it on youtube but on my school site i've got just on that project that's over 1000 videos okay so pretty much i'm not taking out anything and the whole process of carving is there if you want to see how i'm doing it and if you want to learn something so that would be probably a good idea to check it out don't forget to like it by the way and uh, give me some love and if you're not subscribed yet to my channel that would be probably a good idea to just uh, subscribe and you know hit that notification bell let me see that misty thank you very much i really do appreciate that Uh, yes uh, 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 you know the last uh, well the, the main piece which this is going to be applied to uh, on the sides it's huge uh, it, it is like uh, 10 feet just the middle part of it but it's the whole room pretty much and it, a lot of different movements and like I said if you want to see the process uh, you really have to check my school if you're not part of my school but i know also some of you part of my school but you don't really check uh, all the videos right just go ahead and check that even if you're not planning to carve that piece and i'm not expecting anybody i'm not expecting anybody 
to carve that huge piece but you can get a lot of different uh, ideas for a lot smaller work for example i've got email from one of my members uh, in a school and he said he really got a lots of from this project uh, he's mainly carving uh, like uh, ornaments for christmas and so on for the holidays but uh, he never plans probably to carve anything big like this but he still gets uh, a lots of uh, from this project okay and i missed some question Majid, and uh, great question, and Richard just answered that. Yes, I do design myself, of course, but I have to be accurate uh, with the design, okay? So I do uh, design it, but for example, with this piece, I cannot just express freely whatever I like. So I have to be really accurate to the end of 15th century, beginning of... Uh, 16th century end of 15th beginning of 16th century uh, per request of a customer i'm not carving just for myself i'm carving you know for clients and uh, yes i'm uh, designing but i have to be really accurate as far as uh, the design goes to the period i'm carving all right Uh, Majid, uh, designing is actually the most important. Great question about the designing, but the designing is the most important part. Okay, uh, a lot of people don't understand. To dig wood or poke gouge inside of fibers, it's easy. So you can learn uh, to carve wood really quickly, but the design part is much harder because you are designing not uh, two-dimensional world but for the three-dimensional world and that's uh, really hard even if you look at this piece uh, you see the whole piece but it's actually twisted but i got like i said it's a uh, two surfaces one surface right here so this is one of the surfaces but if you look uh, this way a little bit it's actually 90 degrees and goes that direction and that leaf that leaf is actually wraps uh, both sides Bill, good to see you. By the way, uh, Bill, can you write um, uh, a website for your school? Because I'm going to be in your school next year. And uh, maybe you can write that in the chat. Uh, it's a main a state of Maine. And that's going to be uh, next year classes. Uh, I'm going to be in one of the schools. It's going to be in a Bill's school. All right. So, Bill, I would really appreciate if you can uh, write it in the chat. Maybe I do have it somewhere. Hold on just a second. No, I don't. But uh, if you want to know uh, my traveling and my scheduling, where I'm going to be teaching next year in person, there's going to be a link below in description. Uh, you can just uh, check that out. And there's going to be a, a link like uh, events for the next year. Uh, I didn't schedule a lot for the next year because I'm really super busy and I need to finish a lot of work. But two schools for sure. I scheduled multiple classes. I, I scheduled for... Uh, uh, Mark Adams School of Woodworking and I also scheduled for a, a state of Maine it's a main cost workshops okay let me see uh, okay that is a great a good question to you know what would to start and Misty already answered that thank you very much Misty wonderful Okay, Nate, uh, Alex, have been enjoying learning carving from you in your school. Really enjoy your insight and knowledge. Nate, I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate, uh, you know, some of you actually multiple years in my school. I in the 
people i want to let you know i really appreciate that you you know sticking with me i know uh sometimes it's hard to listen <laughs> you know you know i'm also struggling you know work and speak it's not that easy all right but you're still watching those videos and that's good all right let me see what else i can do right here and if you're new on my channel on youtube uh, please uh, please please uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe okay and uh, you know just like it of course first and then subscribe I'm working against the grain again okay Majid so let me read that question master it is possible for you to name the models of the main styles of wood carving for uh, acanthuses and or I guess you mean by acanthuses uh, and research Marco good to see you good to see you uh, uh, Majid I don't and maybe I'm not understanding you correctly but yes uh, there's a different uh, styles of acanthuses and uh, one of the projects I'm doing online which is uh, taking me kind of long time because I still work uh, pretty much full time uh, you know for my clients so I'm carving but uh, one of the projects is not one of the projects is but one of the ideas uh, on my online school and I already started there's a few acanthuses uh, the history of acanthus leaves and we already carved uh, a few of them there's a few acanthuses online one of them would be uh, uh, Corinthian another one would be Greek acanthus another one Roman acanthus we carved like a three styles of acanthuses but later on we're gonna do a Byzantine style acanthus we're gonna do uh, uh, Italian like uh, you know for example I'm working right now this is a this is an Italian style of acanthus but that's a particular 15th 16th century but uh, there is a different style of acanthus there is a Moroccan style of acanthus there is a German style of acanthus there's a different styles of acanthus and we, I am planning to do one by one uh, in my school and you would understand the design principles and the idea they are not the same they are really different uh, what I mean by the different how they structured even um, on inside let's say uh, this one has a convex on the inside uh, but Roman account is gonna have a concave on inside so that is uh, a little different Right. Zini, when we carve, can we use paint thinner? Or what uh, do you mean by that? To make it softer? I never use anything like that. I know some people actually using some uh, water, uh, you know, to make it a little softer. I don't. I don't I just carve dry so it's gonna give me the right 
feel for the fibers. I know they're not going to puff back. I'm not sure if I understood uh, that question correctly. Well, Richard, it's exactly what I just said. Thank you very much. But I still don't use uh, water. If tools are sharp, you really don't need to do that. But some people do use it. First of all, the paint thinner, you you breathing, I mean, so it's really close to your face and it's still chemical. So it's not gonna be the safest thing. So it's not gonna be the safest thing. Uh, yes, is there a Russian style of acanthus? Absolutely, there is a Russian style. Not only Russian style, there's a northern Russian style, there's a southern Russian style, there's a eastern Russian style, there's a western Russian style. There's a lot of different uh, Russian styles also. And uh, Russian uh, culture is really deep. People sometimes don't get it, but it's a really ancient uh, culture, you know, Slavic culture. Uh, let's say if you go north, uh, it actually has a lot of influence of uh, Viking uh, and uh, northern Russia. Uh, if you look at the bloodline, there's a lot of mixture, you know, the Viking mixture in the blood also. Uh, and uh, they developed their own style, not only canthuses, but, uh, you know, ornaments and so on. And uh, there's Norwegian style, by the way, of acanthus. Uh, not Norwegian, I shouldn't say that because it's not accurate, but uh, Normans, I should say, uh, Viking styles. But even Viking styles depends on the uh, period. So we're talking about it's also going to be a little different. It's also going to be a little different style. The Lila, I completely 100% uh, agree with you. I wouldn't put uh, water uh, for two reasons uh, on the wood. Not only to make my wood, uh, you know, wet, but also I'm using metal on the wood and I don't want to fight rust. I don't want to fight the rust. Okay. So I guess there is a conversation between uh, Richard and Bill about the books. Oh, by the way, as far as the books, uh, books um, and so on, on my school site, on my school site, I do have a dedicated page for all of the books and the history, uh, uh, which is uh, not only about the carving, but uh, about the sculpture and the canthuses and so on. And uh, there's going to be a link. Let me place it today. Uh, it's going to be uh, in my home area. I'm going to place the link to that page and you'll be able to see. But it's not in English. Uh, lots of those books, it's actually in uh, different languages, German and uh, uh, French and so on. Uh, Majid, uh, so great question, not a question on our saying. Master, in my opinion, if you write a comprehensive book on wood carving, yeah, I mean, a lot of people actually asking me to write the book for many years. I just really don't have time. Uh, it's number one uh, to write the book, maybe someday. Uh, and another thing, I still keep my Russian accent even in writing, <laughs> you know, and I doubt people will understand what I'm trying to express. So I do have a Russian accent in my writings.
okay let me think what i can do right here i think it doesn't look too good maybe i'll just jump right there a little later Uh, some of the books, let me repeat again, uh, some of the books on Amazon, uh, what I like about wood carving and uh, others about the design, like Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash woodcarver Grabovetsky. And I'm placing those books right there. Okay, so that is my uh, personal influencers page. And not only books, but uh, the tools and so on. Uh, what I like like a sharpening tools and uh, so on and so on okay so mustafa thank you very much Okay, let me blend this side. It doesn't look too good. And I know you don't see what I see because the position of the cameras. Let me check if I missed something. Uh, yes, there's actually really good books, and you are correct, Nate. There's a lots of uh, different old uh, old publications, uh, uh, you know, about that stuff. But uh, you know, it's still uh, you still have to see how it's done. In the books, it's okay, but trust me, you know, I know, for example, one person was in one, in one of my classes in Florida this year, and he studied Acanthus leaves uh, for uh, over 10 years, and he still didn't get it, okay? He still didn't get it until he tried himself in, a, in, a, in personal, actually, to carve together with me. Uh, uh, you know, books are good, but you... It looks like it's easy, but uh, sometimes you really don't get it because it's a 3D, 3D three-dimensional. Uh, all right, the uh, Lila, the school in Maine. What months will Alexander be there? I would like to attend. Uh, now, the Lila, go on my website, schoolofwoodcarving.com. Okay, and there's going to be a menu right on top. It's going to say in person. It's going to say in person. Let me actually open up. Maybe I'll just open up and just check that myself. Okay, hold on just a second. And I'll just open up and just check that. So... Uh, if you go to in person tab and uh, you can see there's a multiple classes scheduled uh, for the next year i just scheduled a few of them but i'm gonna be uh, uh, i'm gonna be in april in mark adams school i'm gonna be uh, in june 14th i'm gonna be in main a course i mean in the main course traditional art uh, arts workshop that is a uh, i'm talking about the state of maine this one then i'm going to be in july again uh, uh, in mark adams there's going to be a, a two classes in july so that's what i scheduled so far so if something else uh, gonna uh, be scheduled i'll be there but uh, as far as the main 
so that is going to be June 14th, okay, June 14th. I hope it helps. Uh, Bill, is that October? Why is it uh, showing uh, June? We rescheduled that for June, I believe. Hold on just a second. Let me see. Let me open your site and uh, I'll, uh, I'll check that. Okay, so that is your site and there's the classes. View classes. And right there is uh, my class. It, it shows uh, June. June 14th. I hope I don't make any mistakes, so that, that is uh, your website. And the website would be maincostworkshop.com. And Bill, also, I know there's uh, some people from um, Ohio, they should contact you uh, uh, about uh, coming to my class, so they maybe they already did. All right, yes, that would be in June. And uh, let me show you the website. Let me go to my iPad and uh, where's the website can you see right on top in this area right here oops <laughs> i'm sorry and i don't know what i did but anyway so it's in june okay wonderful people i think it's enough for today uh, don't forget if you first time um uh on my whatever youtube channel or facebook don't forget of course uh, you know to follow me if you're on facebook or instagram uh, give me some love you know that would be wonderful and uh, subscribe of course you know don't forget um, uh, to subscribe and uh, i really appreciate if you can give me you know some love and some likes and i'll catch them all right i'll catch them maybe i missed some question yeah i missed some of the conversation okay wonderful people uh good to see you so thank you very much uh, for sticking with me and uh, listening to me and talking to me. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening or morning because some of the people from Australia and it's early morning, uh, some from New Zealand, it's like uh, midday, not midday, but mid morning. And it's really late in the, uh, in Europe really late already thank you very much wonderful people